So as JJK fans, I know we can't really read. So I figure, why not make the ABCs, but we'll do a fraudulent one, just for you Jujutsu Kaisen fans out there. Originally, I was planning to add a nursery rhyme version of this at the end. Basically same thing, but just in the cadence of A, B, C, D. So I still may do that depending on how this goes and how it's received. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do that. I do have the Demon Slayer video, which I think is going to be my best work coming out as next upload. So like and subscribe for all that. Thank you and enjoy. A is for Angel. Not for her curse technique or anything like that. A is for Angel because she didn't steamroll Hana's existence and take over complete control and she let Hana take the wheel. Big no-no. As well as Arata Nita for being a cursed band-aid. As well as giving the fandom hope Nobara is alive. I was with that group of individuals for a bit myself. Eat a dick, Arata. B is for Binding Vows, right? I don't think Binding Vows are all that bad myself, but by nature they can make some moments questionable and the overuse at times, even if it's logical, just takes the wind out of certain moments. So I think the fandom as a whole would basically appreciate putting binding vows at B. C is for the construction curse technique, which it's actually a pretty dope curse technique if you're Yorozu, but it's kind of like a stepladder of power progression for just other characters. It also makes female characters into cursed objects, and Gege, women aren't objects. D. D is for Dagon, for being the first to die in his own domain. Oh, and of a similar note, dragons. Every dragon we see just gets the goofy beat out of them. Rainbow dragon, Eno's dragon, hell, even the dragon bone sword. Lost to Ogi. Ogi. He is for everyone constantly calling JJK cooked or Gege a fraud, but there they are asking where the leaks are. Also, it's for everyone who is watching up to this point and didn't sub to the channel or at least like the video. You don't want to be a fraud now, do you? That's also a farmer's mindset. Speaking of F, no it's not farmers. It's Fumihiko Takaba. And I think I just lost any likes or subs I might have gained from the last entry, right? Look, here's my beef with Takaba. He is presented as a broken character with a technique that works even on Gojo. It sets this unprecedented role for him to have where he has to make an impact with it or it's just Gege is a fraud for not doing anything with him. And even when Gege did do something with him that lived up to Takaba's own standards, it's not good enough for the fandom. I just knew it was going to have an issue later on. And plus, either he has like one of his balls out or the whole package to one side, which just doesn't feel right. Gee, imagine if I said Gojo here, right? For the nod when thing. But no, it's Granny Ogami and her little fuck around gang. Getting beat up by Eno in front of your grandma then slurp up another man's DNA just to fight back? That's crazy work. H. Hmm. This one is too easy for me. I. Ah, Eno. The intrusive thoughts are trying me. But no, you went big with that off the heezy on Sukuna, and then also really big for distracting him so Yuji could hit that black flash. So eyes for Yori Utahime. Like what the hell was she gonna do in season 2 episode 1 if she encountered the curse in that mansion? Was she just gonna serve them or stomp the yard? J is for jobbers. This goes to Jogo and Miguel, more so Miguel though. K is for Kashimo. For choosing to face Sukuna and instead of damage him, he resorted to sip the tip. L is for the linguistic terrorist John Weary. Shout out to Kayo for opening up my world with that nickname. Go to shit. M is for... You thought I was going to say Megami, huh? M is for Mappa. Take care of the people who work for you. N is for Noritoshi Kamo. I always thought the idea of having an archer that is like in good standing and high ranking in terms of their own universe within shonen manga would be pretty cool until I seen his goofy ass. O is for old heads. Also Ozawa, you should have poured your feelings out to Yuji because I don't think he will make it past the end of the year. You missed your chance. P is for parents because they're, they're kind of shitty. Q is Q. Of course all of them but especially Bear. R is Reggie. Now your fight with Megami was gas. I'm personally not feeling the cursed Karen ability, but mostly it's about the people you choose to align yourself with. Literally, they are all goobers. S. And this may be one you don't like, but sort of the extermination. What did it really do? T is for Tangan. 
for really looking like a thumb but ultimately being sus instead of just being real with gang. U is for Urame. Look, they talked a lot of shit and so far all we've seen them do is sneak Maki to freeze them as well as take the people in Shibuya by surprise and their own idol, Sukuna, sidestep them when they got gut punched by a pretty boy. And you're also taking forever against the other fraud from earlier in the list. V is vessels, mostly Kenjaku's vessels. Especially the ones he got his cheeks clapped in. W is, yep, you guessed it, weary. Two entries for you. I would love to see the percentage of fandom that actually only reads the officials and see how different of a story it really is. Now, I'm not gonna hold y'all, X was kinda tough. But X is for X.com, cause there are some really ass and fraudulent takes on there and agenda wars, but honestly we all say that and we're all aware of it, yet we're still on it all the time. Funny how it is, we're all a bit fraudulent, but isn't that the duality of man to feign vanity and- Oh, it's not that kind of video? My bad. Why? This is another easy one you think with Yuki, huh? Nah. Yuki in them shorts is pookie. And look, I'm gonna have to keep it a buck and go with Yorozu. I have to say it because if I hit Kashimo up for sipping the tip and being a fraud, you know, she is from the Heian era but essentially on Kashimo timing. Sip the tip instead of do the damage. Fraudulent on the list, you'll go. Z, now this is simple. The Zenin men besides Megami, of course, and if Maki can leave Megami out of the binding vow to eliminate all Zenin, which he was the clan's head at that point, then I can leave him out too. Plus, look at this pencil neck goober here, this doofy looking motherfucker. Why the long face today, ass sorcerer? Okay, well that's it. That's the fraudulent ABCs of JJK. Make sure not to end up fraudulent or this list will spin the block and on it you'll go. Thanks for staying for the whole video. Like and subscribe. Remember, stay normie, stay weave, shit even in between is fine. Until next time, peace.